huge news as one of the newest members of Team AH, the guy that tried to help AH relaunch her career at a film festival, this guy is a criminal to the point that his own godmother, that's right, his godmother went on record at one time saying, hey, this guy is a liar, this guy is a cheat, and she exposed that even before a giant criminal conspiracy that he was involved in, he stole almost $100,000 from her, he broke up their family tearing it apart. She wanted him to get his comeuppance there. Why? Because he felt that he was smarter than everyone else. He was better than them, more talented. Yeah, who exactly does that sound like? <laughs> it really makes you wonder, right? Now, this was a case that rocked Wall Street, too. After a 123-count indictment was handed down on two men that included securities fraud, bribery, money laundering, and more, now, what's truly fascinating is that the same places that were singing his in this festival and AH's praise, you know, the same one that did a deep dive and went after JD at the Cannes Film Festival, they didn't have anything to say about this at all. But then again, why would they? I mean, after all, they're the festival's media partner. I mean, these are the folks that decided they were going to reinvigorate AH's career. They pushed her hardcore, too. I mean, they did so much trying to bring her back, saying, man, look at these interviews. Look at this Hollywood comeback. You and I, we're going to talk about all of this fun stuff today. I mean, this is a bombshell in my opinion, too. Maybe it explains why J.D. and his crew, they walked away. Oh, man. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. All right. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. So, this is an absolute bombshell, in my opinion. And a bombshell that has not been reported on because the places reporting this, yeah, they seem rather complicit. I mean, here we have an undisputed member of Team AH. One that was responsible for trying to bring her career back. I mean, this guy, he is the head of the festival that put her on prominent display, posted her everywhere and more. Well, apparently he joins that growing list of people that are either accused of crimes or have committed crimes that are connected to AH. I mean, check this headline out. This is from May 2009. Quote, how a Dallas hedge fund manager got caught up in a world of fraud. How Barrett Weissman went from running a lawn care company to orchestrating a hundred million dollar scheme that has him standing in the crosshairs of the SEC orchestrating. Notice that? That's a big word right there. Now this, oh, it was a bombshell when it hit too, and it rocked Wall Street to its core. Why? Because you're talking about a two-year investigation ran by the SEC into how the New York comptrollers, they picked investment into the state's $150 billion pension fund. That led to the New York Attorney General dropping a 123-count indictment for two men that worked for the former comptroller here, including securities fraud, bribery, money laundering, and so much more. Now, there was a central figure in all of that, one that the Attorney General's indictment referred to as John Doe 1, one that explained how all of this scheme worked, and this person, they paid a total of $600,000 in kickbacks to land $100 million worth of investments from New York State's pension fund. Who exactly was that? Oh, yeah, it's the person that we know here, Barrett Weissman. Now, this rabbit hole was a fascinating one to delve into, too. Why? Because the question kept coming up. Who exactly is he? His godmother and his aunt went on record to answer that. She said, hey, he is a liar and he is a cheat. In fact, 
I lent him money to keep the family brand. He had a family brand apparently inherited. She tried to help him keep it out of bankruptcy. What did he do? Well, according to his 78-year-old aunt, when she asked to be paid back, he said, nah, you know what? Not paying you back. That money, that was a gift. Now, she went further than that, too, exposing back in the 1990s that a court ruled that he had forged her signature to defraud her of almost $100,000. Listen to what she has to say on this quote. He was stupid enough to forge my signature on stationery that was not printed until two months after I supposedly wrote the letter on that stationery. Then she talks about him tearing their family apart, saying, I haven't spoken to his mother in years. He basically tore the family to pieces. And prior to this, we are a very close-knit family. I would like to see him get his comeuppance. He took years of my life in litigation that could have been avoided if he had just done the right thing. There is something that made him feel that he was better than everyone else, smarter, more talented. Who does that sound like, right? Now, of course, the places that covered this here, you know, the ones that shield A.H. really hard. I'm looking right at you, Deadline, who is part of Pinsky Media, by the way. They didn't have anything to say about this at all. In fact, if you look at their coverage here, they talk about, oh, look, this is the new head of that festival. This is when they're going to start puffing the thing up. They're going to do an interview for him. That interview, oh man, I mean, they treat him like the second coming. I mean, they talk about, you put all this stuff together. I mean, hey, we're so proud here. You got to be happy. Two and a half months. Isn't that amazing? But then again, like I said, when you start looking on the website here, you look under the partners, what exactly are you going to find? Oh, let's wait for it here. It's almost there. Oh, yeah, look, media partners. You have Variety. You know Variety that attacked JD again and again, went after Cannes Film Festival, tried to overturn every single rock, went after people like myself and more. Then you have Deadline, the same place that is doing that shilling. Oh, isn't that amazing? Now, the festival made sure that they didn't just shill A.H. I mean, you'll see her here. They also removed J.D. because J.D. was like, yeah, I don't want anything to do with this stuff. I wonder why. But you'll notice they also connected him and her. I mean, you can see this right here, front and center. They make the connection. Again, Team AH with another person with criminal background getting called out for well traits that I've heard in a certain case before. And if you want to know more, let me know about this. But leave me a comment on this too. Let me know what you think about that. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say enough. Check out the links in the description, too. They help out the channel immensely, so check those out, and thank you.